39. Calculate the delta G notch for each of the following reactions from the equilibrium constant at the temperature given. Okay, so in this case, we have carbon, carbon, calcium carbonate, CaCO3 solid, which will yield calcium oxide, which is CaO solid, plus carbon dioxide gas, CO2. They gave us a temperature of 900 degrees Celsius, geez, and a Kp of 1.04. Now, when they give you an equilibrium constant, a K value, and you're solving for your Gibbs free energy, delta G, there's only one formula really out there. Now, there's two different ways to writing it, but it's the same formula. But if you're solving for delta G, it's easiest to use this formula right here. It's the delta G equals negative RT ln, which is the natural log of your equilibrium constant, your K value. So for solving for delta G, this notch just means that we're using standard values. We should know the RT and the K. So R is a constant. Thank goodness, right? R is going to be 8.314 for if you're using this formula. Now, there's two ways you could, you know, use 8.314 or you could use 8.314 times 10 to the negative third. I just like to use 8.314 because that's the number that I use for any time that I have to use this R value. So it's easiest for me to just memorize the one number. Now, this is joules per mole times Kelvin. So we'll keep in mind for those units in a little bit. But if we're using Kelvin in the R value, that means that the temperature should be in Kelvin. They gave it to us in Celsius. So right off the bat, I have to switch the Celsius into the Kelvin value. Celsius to Kelvin, plus 273. Now, you could use plus 273. I'm going to be more specific. It's plus 273.15. So 900 plus 273.15, I get a Kelvin value of 1,173.15. And that's the, the temperature I'm going to use for my T. They already gave me the K value. Now, specifically, they gave me a KP. I don't care what K it is. There's so many of them, right? Just as long as you have a K value. KP, KC, KEQ, KA, KB, KSP. It's just an equilibrium constant, so you can use it. This one is 1.04. We have everything. Let's plug it all in. Delta G equals the negative is in the formula. So 8.304. Then I'm going to times by my temp of 1173.15. And then times by my natural log, that's the ln of 1.04. If you're using the TI-84 like me, which I absolutely love, um, we're just going to plug this all into one shot, and the calculator will understand what we're trying to do. So delta G equals negative 8.314 times, I'm going to take that value that I already got, and then I'm going to multiply by the ln. Here's the ln button over here, right? And then I'm going to say 1.04. Close that parenthesis and press enter. Easy as pi, right? Negative 382. 382, maybe we'll say 0.5. And just know that, remember, going back to the R value, these units were not canceled, right? The Kelvin was canceled. So this stays joule per mole. Now, the thing is, is that generally, even though they didn't state, but generally a delta G is always in kilojoules per mole, or just kilojoules. It just depends on what you have. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my joule value and divide it by kilojoules. We always divide by 1,000 to do that, right? Or you could just take the decimal, move it over three spots to the left, but I'm just going to divide by 1,000, and there you go. Very, very small, very close to zero. So my delta G for the whole entire reaction is a negative zero point. Now for sig fig purposes, we use this Kelvin value with this Kp. This is a smaller number of sig figs, it's three. So my sig fig should be three. So I'm gonna say negative point three, eight, three. The leading zero in the beginning does not count. And now we are done. Whoop, I don't want that, I want a nice color. Beautiful. 
That's it, guys. Just memorize the formula. Chances are that formula is not going to be given to you on your test or quiz. All right. So hopefully this helped you out. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Come back. Love talking to you guys. Love helping you out. And maybe we can help you out with more subjects. Go check the channel out. All right. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.